Hi, Robin. I was wondering if my son can get Linda Mood Bell to help with his reading comprehension. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the third parent that asked me this today. You'd think Linda Mood Bell was an item on the menu. Uh, I'll take a Linda Mood Bell and a Diet Coke to go, please. <laughs> That's a good one. Seems like parents with dyslexic kids have a one-track mind. Yes, it's super annoying. It's like they all talk to each other and Linda Mood Bell becomes the flavor of the week. Flavor of the month? Yeah, how about the year? Yeah, can't they just sit quietly and let us do our jobs? Uh, hello, I'm sitting right here. Did you hear something? Hello, it's Misty, Steven's mom, I'm trying to offer meaningful parental input. Ugh, she said those magic words, meaningful parental input. I better listen. So I'm sorry, you asked for the Linda Mood Bell, but the district already has decided to provide another reading curriculum. It's called the FREE Reading Program. Not so fast, school district. This could be considered predetermination if the school administration makes its determination prior to an IEP meeting and refuses to consider alternatives during your IEP. Check out section 300.501 of IDEA. Mom, before I forget, let me introduce you to our school psychologist. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hamburger, the school psychologist, you know, the one that knows everything. Even though I don't have a doctorate in psychology like other psychologists who have a private practice, I'm here to share my immense wealth of knowledge since families are so lacking in that area. Uh, you guys are offering for my son to attend a new and much larger high school, but as you know, his excessive anxiety manifests into all kinds of physical symptoms. Oh, brother, here we go with the manifesting business. We understand your concerns, but I don't feel this high school that you're proposing, which by the way has three times more students than this current school, is appropriate. Of course, you don't feel it's appropriate. Well, we think our offer is very appropriate. In fact, Robin and I met before this IIP and decided that we need to get your son out of that small school setting and back into his ginormous and overwhelming homeschool. It'll be good for him. <coughs> Wait, did you say you met to decide my son's placement before the meeting? Uh, no, uh, that's not what she said at all. She said Robin and I met before the IEP and that they had already made a decision on his placement. What she meant was that we see Jason returning to his homeschool from the small school setting at some point. That's not what she meant. Oh, that's definitely what I meant. Thanks, Robin. Not so fast, school district. This is yet another example of what could be considered predetermination if the school administration makes its determination prior to an IEP meeting and refuses to consider alternatives during your IEP. Check out OL versus Miami-Dade CSB 11th Circuit 2014.